Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to the Local History of Northern Kentucky. This month we are going to be continuing a series that we began last month where we talked about the history of the Erlanger Library in celebration of its 20th anniversary. So today we'll be focusing on the history of the Independence Branch. The story of this branch first began in the mid-1980s when the library board asked staff to do a feasibility study for constructing a branch in the southern end of the county. And a branch in Independence was probable, but there was a, like, a lively debate about whether a building should be located in downtown Independence or near the Cherokee Shopping Center, um, which was a popular spot on the library's bookmobile route. And as the system moved into the 1990s, discussion continued about building a branch library in the southern end of the county, and a potential site on Mills Road in Independence was discussed, however the board wanted a more visible site. In 1991, the board proceeded with the purchase of land on Taylor Mill Road for a Southern Branch Library, and Robert Emmett Hayes and Associates was the architectural firm that was selected to design the building. And this firm has designed the Covington Branch, both the former and current Erlanger branches, as well as the former and current Independence branches. So this is a rendering of that design. And while land was purchased, um, in 1991, construction of the building did not begin until 1994, as funds were not readily available at the time. And KCPL entered into a $729,000 contract with Clinco Construction to build the 7,000 square foot library on the five acre site next to the Cherokee Shopping Center. The total cost of the project was expected to exceed $1.3 million. The new library was designed to hold 35,000 books have a seating capacity of 48 in the main reading room and 50 in the meeting room. The library was also designed for expansion up to 12,000 square feet. Newspaper articles describe the new library as being designed to be an architectural landmark, dominating the curve in Kentucky 16 and Independence adjacent to the Cherokee Shopping Center. The building was also designed with a beacon-like rooftop window and a profile that complemented its five-acre wooded site. Decor in the new library was to feature Audubon prints and a framed 1914 county map showing all the far farms in the county at the time. And the map belonged to former county agent C.A. Wickham. Mike Aberdick, the associate director of the library, said, I think it's going to be something of a social center. And as the opening date approached, Anita Owens, later Anita Carroll, was hired to fill the position of branch librarian. And the grand opening was scheduled for May 21st, 1995. And these photos show the shelving being installed and other finishing touches being added to the interior of the building. And as the grand opening drew closer, events were announced for the festival-like open house. And children's librarian Cecilia Horn secured entertainment for the day, which included a mime, a clown, a person portraying Mother Goose, and a tall tale singer. Outside the branch, a large teepee was set up to promote the summer reading club. The grand opening also included art and essay contests for independent school children, and winners of the contests were presented with $100 savings bonds during the grand opening. The first 500 children at the grand opening also received box sets of Beatrix Potter books. At the event, more than 600 residents came to celebrate the new library, and State Librarian Jim Nelson, pictured at the top left, who spoke at the ceremony, remarked that he had never seen such an outpouring of community support at a library opening. During the first full month of operation, the Independence Branch circulated more than 18,000 items. These are a few photographs showing the reference desk, the children's area, bookshelves, and workspace in the new branch. And we also have a number of additional photos of the interior of this building on our Faces and Places database. And this picture on the left shows Branch Librarian Anita Carroll at far right with her staff soon after the Independence Branch opened. And within just months of its opening, it had become clear that the Independence Library was too small, with limited programming, inadequate shelf space, and long lines at computers. Southern Kenton County was growing at a rapid rate, and this trend was expected to continue um, as the 2000 U.S. Census showed. Independence had grown by 44% and Taylor Mill had 25% growth. As an aside, there were several staffing changes at the end of the decade. 
Marianne Mangan retired in 1999 after having been the library director for 40 years, and Wayne Angst filled the role of director. Anita Carroll transferred over to become the branch librarian at Erlanger, and Julie Silver filled the role for a short time as Independence Branch Librarian before J.C. Morgan took the role. And J.C. Morgan and his staff are pictured at the uh, right a couple of years later. Um, and then in 2003, J.C. Morgan was named as the director of the Campbell County Library. And over the next several years, um, there were a few that filled the role of Independence Branch Librarian, including Becky Bowen, Morgan Tracy, Anita Carroll, and Susan Nimmersheim. And um, going back to the space crunch, as a temporary solution, the branch was closed for a day in October 2003 in order to remodel. Eight seats were removed to make room for 14 new sections of shelves for adult fiction. New lighting was installed, and six sections of shelving were added for picture books in the children's area, and its walls were repainted. So at the end of 2003, after eight years in cramped quarters, the library began looking for a new space. Although the building on Taylor Mill Road was built with the option for expansion to around 12,000 square feet, um, it was said with the way that the community was growing that the library was not able to build a building large enough on the current site. So the library hoped to locate a site and close a deal by spring 2004 and planning and construction of the branch was expected to take about two years. The site was chosen on Walton Nicholson Road and construction began in August 2005. And the new building was designed to have more than triple the square footage of the Taylor Mill Road location with 25,000 square feet open to the public. The building was to feature a reading garden with a sculpture in the shape of a book that children could climb on. And along with having double the room for books, movies, CDs, and public computer stations, and several meeting rooms and study areas, the size of the staff was also to double to about 46 people in the new building. The building was designed to be all on one floor and energy efficient with geothermal heating and cooling. Another of the design features were the floor to ceiling windows and the building was done in brick with blue aluminum trim. The building was to be named after longtime resident William E. Durr, and the former branch at 6477 Taylor Mill Road closed for the last time on December 30, 2006. The independent staff spent several weeks in January making the move to the new building. Also, Library Director Wayne Angst was tapped to become the Kentucky, the Kentucky State Librarian at this time, and Dave Schroeder became the interim director and later director. On January 28, 2007, the William E. Durr branch in Independence officially opened its doors, and it was so cold that day that during opening festivities, the instruments that um, a band were playing started to freeze up. It's just beautiful, gushed Virgil Rust of Ryland Heights. It's big and roomy, there's a lot of books, there's more parking space, there's more of everything. It's for the people, he said. When the building opened, Susan Nimmersheim was the branch manager, and she said that her favorite part of the facility was the outdoor reading garden that included a 40 foot by 60 foot area of concrete steps and grass designed to look like an open book. The whole design of the building and location is great, she said. The architecture is very open, very airy, and the children's room is bright and cheerful. The kids are really going to like it. But the best thing about the library is the staff. We have a wonderfully trained staff that is very customer service oriented. So moving into the 2010s, um, with 20 years of library experience, Paul Durier was named branch manager for the Independence Library in March 2012 and remained in this role until 2017 um, when he transferred to manage the Covington branch. Faith Mulberry was then hired to fulfill the role in independence, and Mulberry came from the Owen County Public Library, where she served as assistant director and then as director. And then in 2017, the branch also celebrated its 10th anniversary, and since January 28, 2007, more than 3.8 million items have been checked out, and more than 1.4 million people have visited the branch. There have been over 13,000 programs with more than 351,000 people in, in attendance. 
and the branch has recently received renovations including new paint, new floors, and a new children's space. And the William Eder Library and Independence continues to play a valuable role in the community. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions please give us a call at 859-962-4070 email at history at kittenlibrary.org or visit us on the web. Thank you.